Good evening, friends and subscribers. Got a surprise for you today. It's a special day. You get two videos for the price of one. But we got a horror pack in the mail. Wouldn't you believe it? It came early. Well, I guess 21st, that's pretty early. Normally they don't come out till the 25th or the 26th. Or at least that's when they arrive. Let's pop this baby open. Hopefully without cutting ourselves. And see what's inside. I've been doing so many uh, movie reviews that uh, I forgot what it was like to open a box. <clears throat> First out of the horror pack. Number 52. Oh. We have the original Carrie with Sissy Spacek and John Travolta, directed by Brian De Palma, based on the Stephen King novel. This is great. Uh, this is also, from what I understand, the fifth anniversary for Horror Pack. So, congratulations, Horror Pack, on your fifth anniversary. You're doing pretty good right out of the gates, I got to admit. I dig it. Carrie is always a favorite. Uh, and I don't own it, so it makes it a worthy, uh, worthy choice because I don't own this one. I don't own Carrie. Now, second out of the horror pack number 52 for October 2020, we have Lights Out. James Wan's Lights Out. I've heard of this, may have seen it on streaming services, but, oh, I'm sorry, it said James Wan from producer James Wan, director of The Conjuring, Lights Out. The director on this is actually David F. Sandberg. Let's read the synopsis. Growing up, Rebecca never knew what lay behind the terror Lurking in the dark. Well, welcome to life. When she left home, she thought she also left her fears behind. Now, her little brother Martin is experiencing the same unexplained, terrifying events. Must be something like sleep paralysis. But um, I'm going to see about this one. I'm going to check it out. Lights out. Lights out. I'm going to check it out. First we got Carrie, then we got Lights Out. Now for number three from Horror Pack 52. It's the limited edition. Number 52, The Barn. <laughs> it reminds me of Mikey V's old barn in the back. It's probably a little more terrifying than even this movie. This looks like a straight horror movie. Dread Central's Top 5 Best Horror Films of 2016. It's Halloween 1989. And Best Friends Sam and Josh, Mitchell Mussolini and Will Stout are trying to enjoy their last Devil's Night before graduating high school. Oh, trouble soon arises when the two pals and a group of friends, Lexi Drips. That sounds like a porno name. Cortland Woodland, Nikki Darling, and Nicholas Joshua take a detour on the way to a rock concert, finding an old abandoned barn and awakening the evil inside. Sounds like a ride. I'm excited about this one. I really like the cover. Check that cover. Let me take it out of the package. So I can show you a little more clearly with less glare real fast. I got to admit, I really like the cover art for this Blu-ray. Trying to get it with as little glare as possible. It's pretty cool looking. So yeah, that's limited edition number 52. Directed by Justin M. Seaman. Well... I suppose it only makes sense when Lexi drips Justin Seaman.
No offense to either of you guys. I'm sure you're not watching, but uh, if you do, uh, uh, utmost respect and love. I'm going to check out this movie. It looks cool. The cover alone got me, and that's usually what it is. That's usually all it takes. You got a great cover here, guys, and I'm sure you got an awesome little movie. The Barn Horror Pack Limited Edition Blu-ray number 52. Oh, I just heard about this. Someone just recommended this on, uh, I believe they're 31 Days of Horror. I can't remember who exactly it was, but it's called Dead Dicks. And it's all about this guy like replicating himself. And it's just a wild story. So I'm really excited to get this. Because it sounded funny and kind of frightening at the same time. I'm looking forward to it. Dead Dicks, y'all. Written and directed by both Chris Bavota and Lee Paula Springer. Right on. I am uh, very happy. Horror Pack, you always make the day. Thank you so much. Make sure you guys check the link in the description so that way you could get yourself a subscription to Horror Pack if you so desire. I believe that I might be able to save you a little bit of money on your subscription if you haven't subscribed already on the link that I'll leave in the description below. Hopefully it's not a dead link anymore because I haven't been getting a lot of those uh, have your friends save at, at Horror Pack uh, emails. So uh, I'm not sure if the link is still good, but I'll put it up there anyway so you guys might save. I believe that the password or word for savings is Haunted Castle. So keep that in mind. Yes, I love Horror Pack. They always make my day. Or my month, for that matter. Uh, doing the 31 Days of Horror, now I've got some extra fodder I might be able to throw in here. We'll see. I'm going to check some of these out and get back with you guys with some reviews. Uh, if not, I can use it for another idea I've got coming up. Which I'll reveal on day 31 of the 31 Days of Horror. Make sure, for the time being, at the very least, you thumbs up this video like and subscribe to the channel come on we're doing stuff every day here or trying to at least and maybe trying to for quite a while and get notifications going so that way you get word when we release new videos here at i am the ice lord and i am the ice lord happy horror pack and happy Halloween, you guys. I get the spirit. It's welling up inside me right now. Halloween. I feel like to decorating, you know? Or I feel like decking out the house with some creepy lights and scaring the neighbors. Sounds fun. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you for day 22 of the 31 Days of Horror very soon. Tomorrow, in fact. Bye-bye. Also, as a little bit of bonus footage today, I want to open up a box I got from Severn Films. I can't for the life of me remember which ones I ordered, so you'll go ahead and be a surprise along with me, I guess. Let's open this box. It's probably not got that many DVDs in here, because I think I was only able to order two. But, you know, it's always cool to get a package from Severin. They've got the greatest titles. Check it out. Check out their website, severinfilms.com, I believe. Now it's gonna give me it's gonna give me a little bit of trouble. There we go. Oh, they got some nice packing peanuts in here. I could eat those later. What did I get? Oh, oh, they got a couple of cool Severin stickers. Kind of dig those. Whoa, the cat's losing her mind in the other room. 
Oh. And an Intervision sticker. That's pretty cool. And I ordered uh, Alejandro Jodorowsky's Santa Sangre, which is my favorite of uh, his films. And The Devil's Reign, which uh, actually is John Travolta's first film appearance as a very small role. And Tom Skerritt is also in this. And Captain Kirk himself. William Shatner. So hey, little bonus footage for you guys today. Devil's Reign and Santa Sangre. Check them out if you want. They're pretty cool movies. They're available from Severin Films. I'll try and leave a link in the description if I can remember. Sorry, sometimes I forget those things. Anyways, ta-ta for now. I love you guys.